Can you believe those guys outside? I know. I don't even know what they're protesting about. No clue. Are you just about done? Uh, yeah, should be. Great, here are the new files from the courthouse. Um, when you're finished with those, you guys head downstairs to the archives. There's six boxes right by the door. Bring them up and sort through them. And that should keep you busy till about the end of the week. Great, Thank thanks. You. Chris, how do you want to split this up? Uh, I don't know, the usual. All right, I'll take 8 a.m. What are you doing? I just found this awesome website. It's Social Dynamics. It basically teaches you how to be, you know, attractive to women. Like, listen. Buying drinks and giving compliments to girls is another way men accidentally act in a subordinate, unattractive manner around women. Rule number one, never buy a woman a drink. That's absurd. No, 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 listen. Think about it logically. What reason is there for you to do so? If you don't know her and she doesn't know you, you don't owe her anything and she knows that. When you buy her a drink, she feels like she's got something for nothing. No, because buying her a drink is being nice and a gentleman. I'll send you the link, you'll get it. Okay. I don't know, and I don't care which one of you ladies is going to volunteer, but the boss wants to see one of you. What for? I don't know, some crazy new client. Just perfect for you guys. Chuck, I'll go. You can take the rest. Oh yeah, thanks. Charles, come in. Mr. Esby, this is Charles. He's new with us, but he's the right guy for the job. Hi. Why don't you tell him what you've been telling me? I've got to find this girl. Well, let me explain. Recently I came across a painting and it has a picture of a beautiful woman that, that intrigues me and I want to find out if it's a real person. I suspect it is. I don't think it's a composite. But I just have to find out who that woman is. So, do you think it would be possible? Yeah, probably. Maybe you have a, a name or something that we can go on? Yes, I, uh, I have a business card of the, of the painter. Here's the card. So maybe you could uh, start up with that. Ah, well, that'll do. We just need to fill out some paperwork and I'm sure Charles will be happy to look into that for you. Good, let's get on it then. Yeah, cable five, so. C, G, A minor, F. Okay, yes, it's back. There you are. So, what are you guys up to? I'm oh, just working on our record deal. Good. And what are you doing? Hello, I'm talking to you. What? What are you being so sneaky about? I'm not being sneaky. I'm just, you know, checking my emails. What? Just checking your emails. Yeah. You know what? He's been on there all night. What's going on? Let us see. Can I have a little bit of private mm -hmm. space, please? Mm -hmm. Come on, I'm just writing an email. 
All right, you want me to tell you what I'm writing? Mm -hmm. Fine. So I have these two very nosy neighbors who keep asking me what I'm writing in my emails. Sounds oh. familiar. Yeah. Yeah. You're so smart. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. No, really, what are you doing? You're hiding something from us. God, you guys are so impatient. Did you have a rough day at work? Because I know someone who had a great day at work. Hey, Chuck. Yeah. Why don't you tell us about your day? I got a case. Chucky got a case. That's good. What yeah. is it? Just a regular case, you know. I'm um, finding out background information on a target for a client. Which means? Information about a person. What kind of person? Like, how old is she versus the client's age? She is a young lady, and he is a mature gentleman. Okay, so how young and how mature? Early 20s versus mid-60s. Oh, God. That's creepy, man. It's not creepy. It's, yeah. it's normal. It's, no, that's it's, a no-no. It's a PI job. Oh, you're getting so defensive. No, Thank it's, you. it's... Okay, there, there's... It's <laughs> a private investigator's job. So stalking her. It's, it's a... Legit. It's the real thing. So, is she cute? <laughs> I haven't seen her yet. You haven't seen her yet? What if she turns out to be really cute? <gasps> what is Ronnie going to say about that? Ronnie. Yeah. I'm <laughs> meeting her for coffee next week. Good for you, Chucky. Oh, nice one. Hello, Nail Chuck is turning into a pig. Hello, he's Thanks. going on a that's, pig. That's great. Thanks. Lisa, I'm trying this new thing. It's uh, mind reading. All right, I'm not really good at it yet, but uh, I'm working on it. So I'd like to know, do you believe in mind reading? Yes and no. I'm on the fence. On the fence? Yeah. Right. No, I'd, I'd like to believe. You like to believe? Yeah. yeah. Now you have to, as soon as I snap my finger, you have to have one thought in your mind. That's it. And I'm going to try to read it. All right? Okay. No changing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a number between one and four. Got it? It's three. It is three. It is three. Yes. Nice. <laughs> all right, all right. So lame. So what? It, it doesn't work. Of course it works. Look, she's laughing. She looks super interested. I don't know about Come on, you're next. <laughs> what? Come I'm on. next? Yeah. Mind reading. Really? Yeah. Come on. You scared? I'm not if I have some wine. Do it. Wine. You're asking me to get the wine. You offered. It's the same thing with you guys. You never have wine. You're just... One or poor, two, it was Chris's turn. We live in the same building. We have the same amount of money as you guys. You owe us big time. Sure. On Chuck. <laughs> First surveillance report on Esmond file number 6227. Found the painter's website. She runs a showroom out of her apartment. I'll maintain cover and see what I can pry out of her. I've got the client's painting to go on. He says there's more. I imagine she's quite beautiful. Long hair, always wearing a dress. Very feminine. Hello? Hi. Are you looking for something special? Oh no, I'm, I'm just looking around. Oh, okay. Cause there is much better in this room if you want. Oh, well, actually I, I like these ones. Oh, you like the ones by me? That's good. They're, they're not all by you? <laughs> no. Then I would go out of business, wouldn't I? <laughs> you know, this is just like an idea for my friends. Mm -hmm. They like it, so I do some other house, some book row, but, but different face. Yeah, actually, um, am, am I crazy or is it the same face on both? This is the Meredith. The, the Meredith? Yeah, Marilis? you're right. Yeah, same yeah. face. Everybody likes this. So it, it's a real person? Yeah. Sometimes I put my friends, sometimes the models, you know, they just come in mm -hmm. for a seat and I paint them, that's all, just like in the art school. They come here? No, not in front of this wall, of course not. <laughs> I have another space, so we have to separate business and mm -hmm. pleasure, right? Yeah. So, um, uh, what, what time do they, like, when do you paint them about? You have a lot of questions, huh? You're really interested in art. Um, yeah. How did you hear 
about me? Oh, um, I just got your card at a party. Well, maybe I think this is not so glamorous for you. You know, I do business for my ex-husband, but, but paintings are for me, just for fun. So people come here in the morning when I have time and I paint them, I take pictures and I finish later. And maybe I sell some. That's yeah. all I do, yeah. <laughs> they, they come in the morning? Yeah, they come in the morning. Yeah. Or in the afternoon. Right. But they come in the morning too. Yeah. Yes. Uh, when, let's say Marilee, if, if she were to come to get painted, does she normally come in the morning? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, I have to go if you have any questions. Yeah. You can yeah. come I'll, in and ask, okay? Around. Yeah, I'll keep looking around. Feel free. Thanks. See you. Marilee. She's a real person. I thought she would be. Yeah, she, uh, she lives in the city and she comes and models in the morning. So shall we continue? Definitely, yes. All right then. Yeah, so things have just been really tense at home because now I'm sharing my room with Angie because she's in Angie's room, which is kind of a pain. And I mean, I feel bad for her. I don't want to be mean or anything, but my mom said it was going to be two weeks and now it's already been three. So it's kind of like I just wanted to leave so things can go back to normal and I can stop stressing. What's up, Charles? I'm, I'm just listening to you. Are you really? Yeah, you were talking about um, three years ago and then Cruz and your uncle met, I think you said a Norwegian bimbo, and so now they're getting a divorce and it's going badly, so now she has to stay over at your place, and now Angie's in your room and um, sardine breath in the morning. Okay, and okay, I believe you. Just tell me what's up, I can tell there's something. Well, <laughs> this is a really cool thing that happened at work. I have an actual job, and it's not just sitting around Googling stuff and looking for people on Facebook. It's, it's great. Oh, cool. Oh, let me just get that. Hey, how are you? No, it's okay, I'm just with Charles. Yeah. Okay, that sounds great, sure. Um, actually, can I call you back? Yeah, okay, bye. Charles, what are you doing? I'm paying. That's way too much for what you ordered. I'm paying for both of us. We talked about this before, I don't like that. I'm just being nice, it's, it's my treat. I don't want a treat. I just want to pay for my own coffee. It's two dollars. You think I can't afford it? No, it's just that this is what I do with my friends. When we go out, I'll pay for them, and then some they'll okay, pay for me. Okay, fine, but I don't like that, and you know it. So if you respect me and understand me as a woman, as you like to say, then why do you go out of your way to annoy me? Okay, so now I can't call you on your birthday or give you presents on Christmas because you're no, gonna. Charles, I'm that's out of what line. normal people do, but you're not normal. Yeah, people give you presents, but you show up six months later with another random present. It's kind of weird. Fine, you know what? It's a tip. Tip for the waitress. That's way too much tip, Charles, you know it. I enjoyed her service. I thought she was nice. She was a terrible waitress. <laughs> Took her 10 minutes to get my cup of coffee. It takes 10 minutes to make coffee. And she had an attitude. Whatever. And I mean, look at her. She can't even walk in her heels. I mean, she looks like a baby giraffe or something. Mr. Esmond? Oh, that was her, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I, I just couldn't wait. <laughs> I wanted to get a glimpse of her. You can call me Robert, by the way. Okay. Okay. Robert. You know, there's a common misconception about private investigator work. Uh, everybody thinks it's all fun and exciting and it's 
mostly just waiting around in paperwork. Uh, like, like now. Yeah. <laughs> yes. By the way, as I was coming here, I noticed a fellow. He looked like a homeless person who was all ripped jeans and shabby looking. And I was wondering, what is it about your generation that they seem to be against beauty and they, they seem to romanticize poverty? I feel like they think that it's more authentic. Like, um, the more shabby they look, the more authentic they are. Authentic? I mean, when you think these are middle class kids that, that have not known real poverty, and, and I think it's offensive to truly poor people because poor people often are ashamed of that poverty and would like to dress as well as they possibly can. It's a, it's a strange trend. I think it's destructive. In the past, people would build up on what the previous ha had evolved. I think in 1414, uh, they discovered the works of the uh, architect Vitruvius. He wrote about architecture, and he compiled various you know, things that were current in, in, in his day. And this if influenced Leonardo da Vinci, who was living around, born 1452 or so on. He made that famous drawing called the Vitruvian Man. And to him, that was like the ideal man. Uh, he was six feet tall. Everything was perfectly proportioned. Everything was calculated as if it was a musical composition, this beautiful harmony. And what a foundation that is for, for looking at nature and everything around us, that that's, that's what beauty is. It's, it's, not, it's something uh, that's worthy of a lot of attention and respect. And we don't see that nowadays very much. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a shame. I mean, there are all sorts of notions that are very unfashionable now, like humility, modesty. It's very, very gauche now. You know, when I was, uh, when I was in high school, we had a uniform, and uh, it, it was a nice uniform. It was a nice blue shirt and a striped tie with uh, the, the emblem of the school on it. And Every once in a while in the school year, we'd have what we called color days. And basically, you could come to school without uniform, so in casual clothes. Naturally, people would dress as nice as they could. And, and I just decided to wear the uniform because I liked looking classy and sharp. But people sort of called me all sorts of names and told me that I wasn't my own person and that I wasn't, that I wasn't authentic because I wasn't wearing my own clothes, and I figured that's kind of ridiculous because, if anything, I'm different from them. Well, it's to, to your credit that you're a little out of step with our era. <laughs> I, that's very admirable. You're right, this is tedious, uh, waiting around. So, you've got everything under control? Yeah. So I'm gonna go home and have a nap, okay? Okay. The minute you get any information on her, let me know, all yeah. right? Okay, bye, Charles. Bye. You lost her? I, I honestly don't know what happened. I was in front of the studio, the painter walked out. Charles, the... listen, I'm gonna have to give this to Phil, all right? I, I'm sorry, but I need, this, I need this to get done. I can do this. Look, Charles, you had your chance, you dumped it. The next easy one that comes, it's all yours, all right? But right now, I want Phil to take it to put it to bed. I, I can, no, I can do this. No, no. F Phil doesn't know the client, I do. Charles, listen, no offense, good kid and everything, but I need someone to finish this off. I, I, I know what to do. You know, I'll, I'll go back. I'll do it right this time. Please. 
Charles, one more chance. That's it. After that, I give it to Phil. Yes? Um, I, I was here last week. I, uh, we talked about your paintings. Oh, yeah, I remember you. So, you decided which one you want to buy? Um, oh, no, I was just um, in, interested in, uh, in, in a few different ones. Um, I noticed, did you, did you move them? Yes, yeah, so my sold. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, th this might sound like a strange question, but do you, do you allow people to like, come in and watch you paint and with, with the models? You're kidding, right? No, of course not. This is not for clients to see. I don't let people watch me painting. <laughs> You're really interested, yeah? You should take some classes, I don't know. Maybe I'm not the best person for you to talk to. Yeah, well, um, <laughs> Maybe. I, I, I really like your, I really like your, your art. What you do? You like my work? Yeah. Okay. Maybe you'd like to sit down and talk about it? Yeah, yeah, that, that'd be great. If you're not busy, of course. No, I'm not busy at all. I was just about to, to drink a bottle of wine. If you want to share with me, be my guest. So, we can talk about painting, but if we open our minds a little more, we can have better conversation. Don't you think that? Definitely, sure. Good. First, we drink. Do you know what we drink to? I don't know, um, painting? Pleasure. Life is pleasure. Did you know that? Isn't that every day is a gift? No, you are very tense for a young man, Charles. Very serious. You know, my ex-husband, he couldn't enjoy the simple things of life. And I know what life is supposed to be, a pleasure. You are very young. I'm, I'm sorry to hear about your ex-husband. You are sorry. I am happy. When we split up, I did some reading. I found about pleasures of life. You know, it's all about a big distraction, big show. That's all about it. Is, is that what you tell your models? Maybe you want to pose? Or you want me to ask you to pose? Oh no, no. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just interested. Interested, but not passionate. You know, young people like you should be full of life, and they want you to be so serious, like a dead body in a coffin. This is wrong, Charles. Wrong, wrong. Do you know why? Life is pleasure. You should know that. Actually, there, there was one painting I was interested in, the one with the girl. One girl? There are many girls, many, many girls. For you, just that one? Not for me, or, well, yeah, sure. Um, the, the paintings you were talking about, the, the Marilise, the, one every, the ones everybody likes, I, I guess I'm just like everybody else. No, you're not interested in painting. You're interested in the subject. Maybe you want me to schedule a special sitting for two people in special costume, in special pose? Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly not hinting that I want to pose. Okay. Did you like my wine? It was, it was refreshing. Thank you. Okay, Claire wants to help you. 
You won't be able to find your girlfriend here. She has finished modeling me. But maybe you can find her at work. It depends on your lucky. You see? It's been good being here. I, I know. Um, I would just, I'd like to apply for a job here. You're gonna have to come back tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm, I just want to know, you know, what's it like working here? It's fine, man. It's fine, really. Yeah? I saw someone working back there. Um, could I ask her too? Yeah, we could quit. Thanks. What's up? So, you have really good timing. Tonight is my last night. Yeah? Uh, why, is, yeah. why is that? Oh, I'm starting school. Oh, uh, where, are you, where are you going? Miguel. What are you going to study in? Cultural studies. Where does, where does that lead to? Oh, I don't know. I'm just figuring it out as I go. OK, OK, cool. So you wanted to know about working here? Yes, yes. Um, is it fun working here? Yeah, yeah, it's really fun. Um, what's the boss like? Oh, she's really nice. Yeah, you'd like her. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the, the, the hours? They're late. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool. If you want, I'll put in a good word for you with her. Yeah, that, that would be great. Yeah, what's your name? I'm, I'm Charles. Can I call you Charlie? Sure, yeah. Good luck, Charlie. Thanks. The ultimate beauty, in a way, is, is man. That, that means woman, too, of course. And, and the ultimate expression of a man is his face. But that painter, I don't think she was even aware of the power that she captured by using that girl as a model. It's not superficial. It's not just superficial beauty, but the, the beauty of her face represents the beauty of character uh, and also beauty of, 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 of uh, morality, too. Yeah, she, she really corresponded to that. And when I started the bakery, even though it wasn't that long, um, she was just such a delight. Oh. That's what I expected. A face like that has to have a depth of character to it. You know, uh, the ancients, they really, they really sought beauty and revered it because beauty to them uh, represented an ideal that comes from the divine. I've seen a lot of beautiful girls to say that they're timeless in the way that you describe it, I don't know that I could ever say that I've seen something like that. Well, I found, you know, I was almost sick to my stomach at the thought of a jewel, a precious jewel like that, not being protected. I want to put her in a glass case. <laughs> That's a strange thought. Anyway, I'm glad you came by tonight. So you know that internship I was telling you about? Turns out it's being a real drag because every single guy there is just hitting on me nonstop. And then there's this one guy, he's even worse than all of them. I mean, the other day, so unprofessional. He comes up over me and he puts his hand on my shoulder, which I guess is fine. But then he goes lower until my lower back. And then he turns into this little like weird back massage thing. I mean, I'm here to learn, you know, and I just don't know what to do about all these guys hitting on me. Um, you shouldn't be alone in the room with him. Maybe dressed down? 
that has nothing to do with it. Being in the same room as him is my job. He's the one who should know not to act like that around me. You're right, I guess. Um, listen, I really have to get going, but I'll see you tomorrow. Field report for Monday, September 26th. Spent the weekend telling her. I was very careful to not be made. Minimum five meters in a crowd. Avoid the face and wash the feet, as per Phil. It's hard not to think of her as a painting. She definitely stands out from the crowd. Oddly enough, I don't think she knows many people in the city. I should take a break and hand it to Chris for a while. She's bound to notice me soon. No close calls. So I found everything on this girl, born in Kitchener, going to university, lives with her aunt, changes hobbies every week, studies every evening in a greenhouse. There is nothing interesting about this girl, except now she dresses a little bit nicer, so. I think uh, Fun Bob is suffering from one-itis, and he should GFTOW. GFTOW? Go find 10 other women. It's not about that, Chris. See, it's, it's not women, it's her face. Guys, he wants to see you in his office. Okay, listen up. Someone's placed a complaint with us with the Human Rights Commission. I don't know if it was a client or a target. Maybe it's what's going on outside. Those hippies keep slashing my tires. Look, we're gonna have to shut down for two months. Maybe three, maybe four. When we reopen, you guys all have jobs here. If you're not available, I understand. Sorry about your car tires. Face, Robert, and this could spoil everything. Robert, I don't she's, want she's a perfectly lovely person. You'll get along beautifully. It doesn't feel right. I, I, I'm, I'm well, cold feet. I don't think it's... Everything's, everything's going to be fine. Oh. She's very nice. Really? Everything's going to be all right. Well, I'll, I'll try. Was it, was it anticlimactic? I wish it had been, but it wasn't. She was wonderful. Everything about her was, was overwhelming. I mean, her hair, her clothing, her appearance, even uh, I sort of implied what her morality would be perfect. She's, no, she's special. Uh, I don't know, I, I've got her on such a pedestal. Well, I think that at this point we know enough about her and about her schedule that we could arrange another meeting and maybe this time it'll go better. I don't think that's a good idea. You know, I don't want to go through what I did at the greenhouse. Uh, it's, you know, she's a work of art and, no, I mean, she's a, not a work of art, she's a human being and it's, it's undignified to, you know, to, to 
treat a person like that. You know, my, my friend suggested that to get over her, we need to go find 10 other women. Oh, that's, that's kind of all materialistic. That's not, that's not the point. The point is that she represents perfection and, and it's so precious and, and it's painful to think that it won't be there forever. And I don't know, I, uh, well, I, I'd, I'd really like to help. I just, yeah. I don't really know what to do. Well, keep doing what you've been doing. You know, I know the agency's closing, but um, I would happily pay you privately. Just keep following her and report to me about her behavior, especially even negative behavior, if there is any. And maybe I'll be able to, to sort of see her as, a, as an everyday girl and not be so, don't deify her as I do now. There's nothing undignified or, or vulgar about this. You know, if you don't like it, uh, you can tell me and, and, and leave it, but because, because really, it's, it's, it's all right to do this, I think. So, so I could normalize her and make her almost boring? That's right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, great. Okay. Oh, did we do that? No, the lights turn off at 10. Oh. What do you mean you're moving out? I'm moving out. How? What? How, how, how can you do this? What do you mean how? I, I'm just moving out. It's simple. Without any discussion or telling me about this before? Well, we're talking now. Yeah, while you're packing. How, how does this make any sense? What's so complicated about it? I'm Where are you going? Out. I'm moving into a lair. A lair? Yeah, uh, you wouldn't understand. What, are you a wolf now? Ah, look. It's a pickup lair where pickup artists get together to work on their techniques so they could eventually become really good. So, okay, so, focus. so basically, if I get this right, you're ditching me, your best friend, whom we've lived with for three years, to go with a bunch of strange guys you've never met before, to go pick up women and rape them in your. I'm not gonna rape women. Look, my shirt. You and Fun Bob are doing your thing, and I'm just going in another direction, okay? Look, it's gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. What about the captain? We bought that laptop together. Look, do you want it? I can't have it, because if I have it, then you're left without a laptop. Well, can we talk about this another time? After you've moved out? What? Look, everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna find you a roommate, okay? You won't have to think about anything else. You and Fun Bob, focus on your stuff. Yeah, he's not paying me that much. I can't pay for this apartment. Dude. Don't worry about it. I'll find a roommate, okay? This is my responsibility. I won't let you down. We can still be friends. Everything's gonna be okay. Private report prepared by Charles Owen for Robert Esmond. Week of October the 3rd. Subject is manifesting many normal signs of behavior. One might even say less than normal. Boring even. We'll definitely need to... Charles? What are you doing here? Oh, hey, I, I just I gotta, gotta go. Followed the subject throughout university. Many interesting occurrences. I tried the best I could to catch her in compromising situations. As follows. Please note attached photos where applicable. Number one. Cultivating poor hygiene. Number two, practicing excessive coquettishness. Number three, aiding and abetting vagrancy. Disgraceful. It was very hard to avoid standing out in the university, especially among the social science students. I think my sense of purpose and lack of entitlement was disconcerting to them. Are we making progress?
I don't know why that girl fascinates me so much. You know, I mean, her face, her face is perfect. It's symmetrical. And then her overall appearance, it just makes a beautiful package. But, but there's more to it than that, you know? She, she has a face that's like a neutral, a blank slate on which I can project my feelings and emotions. And, and that's what makes her so, uh, such an object, and rather than just a human. She's, she's, a, she's almost like a fetish. Yeah, well, you know, she, uh, she got a tattoo recently. Oh, my gosh. Hi, um, do you have a second? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Yeah. We want to tell you about how you can help change the world, you know? I mean, if we all do our part, we can make the world so much better. I mean, education is the way to help all the children, you know? Mm. I mean, education means, you know, uh, higher incomes. I'll uh, put together a, a dossier here with some charts and things maybe you want to look at. Uh, we've identified some of the problems uh, in economics, education system, healthcare and things. If everyone in our country just gave $5 more on their taxes, 20% more people could go to university. I mean, and that gives access to, to higher incomes, um, less crime, all kinds of great improvements. The world could be such a better place. There, there will be no uh, gas emissions, for example. The air and water will be so much cleaner. You know, we have fresh coffee and, and cookies inside if you They're have vegan. a minute. They're <laughs> vegan. No, I don't, Sorry, I don't have time. I'm not interested. Just think about what you can do to help the world, okay? Organic, fair trade. Misguided kids. So beautiful, so beautiful, like an angel that fell from heaven. Mary Lee, I could follow you, I could follow you to the ends of the earth, from the bottom of the ocean, to the top of the highest mountain. If I had to. Chuck, you there? There you are. I have a surprise for you. Your new roommate. Hi, Marilee. Nice to meet you. You're that guy from the bakery. Did you get the job? No, no, I, I, I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't get it. Oh. Your room is on the left. Thank you. Yeah. What the hell are you doing, man? What? Helping you out? She's in the apartment. So? I'm supposed to be following her and she's living with me. Well, exactly. Now you won't have to follow her around. She's living with you. I just wanted to try my pickup skills. This is about pickup? Look, I know you have a little something for her. So one, you have the subject inside your house. That's easier. Two, get the hit on her here. Yeah. Okay, no, I'm not going to do that. You know why? Because I'm professional. I care about my job. Do you not have any idea how much trouble I'm gonna get in if this is found out? Nobody's gonna find out. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Look, uh, by the way, a little bit of advice. She's kind of whiny. She was complaining, you know, for uh, 20 minutes on the way about her aunt, so you know how girls are. They're like kittens in the prairie. Remember the hammer thing? The hammer? What? Oh, come on, guy. You know when a girl hits herself in the face with a hammer and she says, oh, my head hurts. Remember that? Look, you don't want to listen to her problems, okay? You just change subject, go to something else, go like, uh, oh, I'm sure you're, you'll figure it out, you're a smart girl. And then you say, hey, check out this cool thing. And then you're off. It's magic. Got anything else? Oh yeah, there's one more bag. Okay, good. Don't do it. What are you do, doing? Do not supplicate. These are modern I'm men. not supplicating. I was, I was raised to be a gentleman and to help ladies. Bogus. That stuff doesn't work. I'm very disappointed. Yeah, that sucks. Thanks. You know, you're really turning into this jerk, you know? Before I go, I'm bequeathing you my Hoppa t-shirt.
Hi. Oh, hi. I'm just moving in some stuff. I hope oh. that's okay. Yeah, great. Um, yeah. Well, you live here, so. Yeah. Um, I realized I didn't give you a proper greeting, so welcome. Thanks. Uh, is there anything I should know about the house? Any uh, hidden passageways or anything? Um, there's the sort of the two rooms, kitchen and living room, which yeah. you've seen. Mm -hmm. um, the neighbor cat is really loud. Um, the, I don't know, not much to say. Pretty standard. Are you, are you settled in in your room? Do you want some help with uh, anything? No, 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 I'm okay, thanks. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I don't really have that much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um... The doorbell! I want to answer it. Hello! Are you looking for someone? I said wrong door. Robert, Robert. Sorry. Robert, wait, please. You just let me explain. No, 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 no. It's all right. You're two young people. It was bound to happen. No, no, no. It's, no, no, no. it's my roommate. Don't you... try to explain. I understand. What was I thinking? I'm an old man. But you know, it's it's hard. You know, I have to reconcile myself to this. I'm freer. That's that's what was supposed to happen. And if anybody is going to be with her, I think you're the best person I know. But, but you know, it's still hard to accept. Please, can can I, can I just explain? I don't know. I I don't think we'll play tennis today. I I, I feel tired. Charles? Charlie? Yeah? Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, me too. I got us a plant today, another one. Great. What did you do today? I read. Oh, you've been home all day? Mm-hmm. And you just stayed in your room all by yourself? Well, I wanted to give you your own space, you know? In this house, we say hello. You just moved in. How, how can you be telling me my own house rules when you moved in yesterday? I don't know, I just think it's a good rule. I mean, we'll be friends this way and we can check in on each other. You can make the next rule, we'll, we'll take turns. and It will be fair that way. Okay, um... Well, so what are you, you're reading something? Go to Faust. Oh, why? Because it's great. Oh, I just thought, well, for me, at school we're reading, you know, we're focusing on much more modern literature and I'm finding it so much more relevant. Like, people have changed so much since stuff like that was written. I mean, democracy, feminism. I mean, it, it's, it's a classic, but it's, it's been done to death. Not really. Okay, you're very defensive. I, I just think that, you know, there's so much new stuff coming out that sort of speaks more to our generation, what's going on politically and culturally. I mean, you can get such a better grasp of what our society is doing from just watching cartoons than reading Faust. I mean, you really don't see that? Well, for one, I can because I've read it, but people interact the same way. The only difference is the medium they used to interact with. Emails is the same as letters, it's just faster. I, I mean, we can just agree to disagree. No, no, because I'm, I'm reading these books because they have stood the test of time. Yes, they've been written 400 years ago, but people are still reading it. This proves to me that it's good and still relevant. Things that were written 400, 500 years ago that aren't good or aren't still relevant don't exist anymore. There's a reason for that. Maybe your, maybe your books are good too. I just don't want to waste my time gambling on whether it may or may not be good when I have something that I know is good. See, this is good. We're talking. This is why we say hello. This is, gr this is great. We're, we're becoming friends really quickly. <laughs> what does your shirt say? My shirt? Um, it's just a, a shirt that Chris used to have. Um, 
he knew I liked it, so he gave it to me before he left. It's a, it's a modern philosopher. Oh, so you do like modern stuff? Well, yeah, I... Sorry. Uh, hello? Hey. Really? Al already? Oh, um... Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely, thanks. Thanks, bye. I think I just got my job back. Really? That's great. See, good things happen when you talk to your roommate. Hey Chris, I haven't heard from you in a while. What's up? You know we're back to work, right? Cora said you haven't been answering your phone. The apparatchiks really messed everything up, so now we're even more behind. But that wouldn't surprise you, would it? Are you ever coming back? Oh, the laptop misses you, by the way. I'm not sure what to tell you about my house guest. I don't understand this girl at all. Anyway, let me know if you're in the neighborhood. Maybe we can grab a bite to eat or hang out or whatever. Talk soon. Charles. Good morning. Hi. Are you going to work? Um, will you be home for dinner later? I should be. Well, just because my parents are coming into town and I haven't seen them in a while. And if you could be here, it would be really easy on me. Um, you'd be a great buffer. Sure. Thanks. Bye. Bye. So, um, how, how was the drive? It was very long, but the worst was when we got into Montreal and coming into your Turcotte, and we came up to the Ville Marie and then around to your little streets. Very hard to find parking, and we're not used to that at all, so it was very rough. Yeah, I don't drive, but I, I, I hear it's really tough. Uh, a lot of co workers, um, well, some of the co workers talk a lot about it. And yeah. I mean, I, I um, take the metro and sometimes I bike in, yeah. uh, in, in, in the summer. Well, you're lucky because with your residence parking here, we had to park two blocks away. There's no places at all. Is this a zucchini in the chili? Yeah, I got the recipe from the New York Times online. It's very good. Thanks. I'm just surprised uh, that you have zucchini because I thought you didn't like zucchini. Why would you think that, Mom? Well, I guess when you were at home, you didn't seem too fond of it. I know, but things change. I'm not, you know, that was quite a few years ago. So I'm, I'm into zucchini now. It's great. It's good for you. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you're uh, expanding your horizons. How was school today? It was good. Yeah? What class did you have? Oh, well, uh, I guess uh, my favorite class that I took today, okay. it's um, sort of exploring mm -hmm. gender identity in 15th century comic strips. Wow, a lot of kids in that class? Yeah, like 60. <clears throat> and how is that gonna help in, uh, when you go to look for a job? Well, I, I don't, I, I think it's very valuable to mm. where I'm thinking I wanna go. I'm learning all about the origin of our culture now and I mm. think it's gonna help me figure out my future. Okay, I just want you to appreciate that we're doing our best to try to help you and uh, at some point you're gonna have to 
think about making uh, making some money on your own. Well, I'll find a way. Not everyone can um, work in an office and, and feel happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Charles, what are you studying? Um, I'm not studying. I'm in. Uh, I have a job. Oh, good. And what are you working in? Um, I'm an intern at a private investigator firm. Oh, it sounds exciting. Is that like on TV? I go out and follow people. Mm -hmm. um, I I don't do that. Um, you know, like a, it's mostly just paperwork. Is it a big firm? Oh, it's small. We have the boss and we're four. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is a really cute little apartment that you have here. Thank you. Yeah, we like it a lot. I just wanted to let you know that if, you, if you'd like to have anything or need anything extra, that we still have some things at home, some chairs or tables or pictures that maybe you'd like to have here. No, no, I think that's okay. I think we, we have everything we need. I don't, I don't want any of that stuff. Thanks. I think what your mother's trying to say is you've got some books at home and things you might want to bring back, memories from home to bring your life over here. I, I just think I'm, I'm really trying to um, move forward and I think my decorating style these days doesn't really fit with who I used to be and, and you know, decorating at home, so I'm, thank you, no, no. Um, I don't understand why you're using this tone with us, uh, we're just trying to help. What tone? It's my house, I can, it's my house. Well, it's your house, but we just wanted to offer you things that we had that we thought you might enjoy from from living at home. And I, I asked you over dinner. I didn't ask for your advice. I guess that's pretty clear. Let's see. I could use an extra chair in my room. Thanks for coming. Oh, thank you. Thanks for dinner. Take okay. care. Bye, Mom. Care you Bye, Dad. Time. Yeah. We're at Auntie's. Okay. Bye. Bye, Charles. Bye, Charles. Take care. See you next time.
Why are you looking at me like that? What? Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Like my mom. I look like your mom. Yeah, you're like all judgy and stuff. Like judging me with your yeah. face. Yeah? Yeah. My face is judging. Yeah, your eyes are yeah? just like judging. Okay. okay, tell you what, tell you what. I'm gonna open up my camera and you show me just what that looks like, okay? My judgy face? Do it, no. Your judgy my face. My judgy face. Okay, all right, all right, I can do it. Do it. <laughs> it's too much. It's too ugly of a face. Stop doing it. <laughs> Let me see. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh my god, I'm so ugly and judgy. No, no okay, okay. Let's, okay. let's delete that. No, no. okay, okay. Th that is a look. That's that, a look you were giving me. That... You should delete it on your face. Stop looking so I, judgy. I can't, I can't delete judging. my face. I can't judging. delete my face. Do it. Delete your face. I can't I can't just delete my face. Well, it's not my fault I have to look at it all the time. Well, sort of. Sort of accepted to live with me. Looking at my judgy face. Okay, what do you what are, what am I supposed to do next? Okay, now look happy. Uh that's dumb. I don't uh, okay. Fine. Okay. You're, okay. okay. <laughs> No, I don't want to. This is so boring. Do something else. I don't just look okay. happy. Um, I don't. It's like not interesting. You're, you're an animal. You're an animal. Be, that's, be, no, that's too sexual. Be an I, don't, I, don't, I don't. Be an animal. I'm an iguana. Okay. Okay. Now, now you just look like a pogo stick. Okay. <laughs> well, that's what iguanas kind of look like sometimes. Okay. They're like straight. Spin around. Spin around. I'm, I'm already dizzy though. I'm sort of feeling kind of dizzy already. <laughs> Trust me. Oh God. This is your finest hour. Your finest my hour. Fine. I don't think so. I don't really think this is. This is. Don't tell my mom because like she's not gonna be happy with that. This is not my finest hour. I'm. I'm sure Can she's I, seen. I, don't I get to take pictures of you? No. This is also like no? creepy photo why? stash. Why? Why? What are you why would do you get? This? If you put this what? on the internet, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. That's not a good close up. Why would you get to take pictures of me? Um. Because. I'm not drunk. Well, that's your fault, not mine. Ooh, so ancient. I think this is like City Hall or something. Oh, weird. Okay, hold up, hold up. Look, look at me right here. Okay. Oh, what is this? What kind of shot is this? I'm not an iguana anymore. Oh my, oh my, oh my God. <coughs> <coughs> Are you okay? <laughs> oh. You know, you're a coward. This is the best I can do. She's still a doll. She's adorable no matter what she does. You know, the company is opening a new office out west. I'm thinking of giving my notice at the apartment and moving out there. More business friendly. Do you think she knows the effect she has on people? It doesn't matter. You know, I suddenly feel like a cat about all this. I was thinking about that, and I had an idea. What if we told her about this? If we went there together, and we explained her the situation, there would be two possible scenarios. Either she's so shocked she hates us forever, or she laughs about it and we're all friends. One way or another, we resolve it. Then there's no going back. That's the point. You know, Balzac wrote that when women love us, they forgive us everything, even our crimes. And if they don't love us, they'll forgive nothing, not even our virtues. I know. 
We'll let the fates decide. So many of you came to join us today, and uh, also I want to give a big thanks to Mary Lee for hostessing us today. Yeah. Okay, let's jump into it. We're gathered here to stamp out inequality now. In our time. What we need is we need government who knows the problems, who can act now, who have the power to act, who can give us what we need. We can't wait around forever. Things aren't going to fix themselves. The government has to step in and make it happen right now. We need to change everything now. Now. So right now. Right now. now. Right. Right. This today. very minute. Somebody needs yeah. to do something. The yeah. big problem here is income inequality. You've got these millionaire and billionaire CEOs they pay less taxes than their secretary. Exactly. Exactly. Things are so messed up. Are not Why is the government it's doing fair. more to control yeah, how much solution. people are making? Oh, yeah. Who yeah. is going to step in and fix in it? School, so what is the government yeah. doing? Yeah. Yeah. What are they yeah. doing? Yeah. They have to take yeah. this yeah. Yeah. It isn't fair. It isn't fair. It isn't fair. It's not fair. I want to change. It's not fair. 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 Get you anything? Oh, uh, we'll need a few more minutes. I know it seems bleak, but when you go out west, uh, try to keep your standards, keep pursuing beauty. Don't follow just the prevailing trends. You know? Keep your own counsel. You know, you're, you're still a young person. You can't retire like I, I can into books and art. You, you should just... Chris? Chris, is that you? Oh. Hey, fellas. How's it going? <laughs> I haven't seen you in forever. What, what have you been up to? Oh, uh, you know, working on my game, expanding my skill sets, 60 opens a night, that type of stuff. How about you guys? This was sad, sad Bob. I've been disappointed. Really? Mm. What's that? Mm. Long story, I guess. Yes. How's it going with the roommate? Oh, um, there's when when a girl doesn't hurt like when when, when she just well, in spite of all those thing is she's you know, when when someone's that. Beautiful. Usually there is sort of. I guess what I'm saying is, like, she was just too much of. Sorry, one second. I'll be back, guys.
what was that? Oh, I just saw an IOI. I went over, opened a two set, got their numbers, yeah, basic stuff. What's an IOI? Oh, indicators of interest. That's when a woman sub communicates her interest through her body language. You know, things like eye contact, smiling, playing with her hair, necklace, that type of stuff. It's an invitation for you to relate to her as a man to a woman. It happens all the time. Just most guys don't pick up on it. Like this one time I was at a club and I saw a five set, kind of like a all girls night out type of thing. So I just walked over, slowly introduced myself, did a few magic 